OpenAI recently announced DALI 3 that is expected to be the groundbreaking text-to-image generator and it comes with a massive improvement over the DALI 2. OpenAI mentioned that this will be available soon inside of ChatGPT for the paid members but in this video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can access DALI 3 for free even if you're not ChatGPT Plus user and we'll also generate some images to find out how good it actually is. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So first of all, head over to your search bar and search for Bing Image Creator. And now simply click on that first link. So if you guys are not familiar with the Bing Image Creator, this is a free AI image generated by the Microsoft Bing and this one is accessible for everyone. And you also get 91 credits for the first image generation. So don't worry about that, that you only have the 91 credits. These credits can be only used for the first image generation. So if you run out of these credits, you can still generate images for free. So let's try something. And I'm gonna use this prompt, an illustration of an avocado sitting on a therapist chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit sized hole inside its center, the therapist, a spoon, scramble notes, and let's generate. By the way, this is the same prompt that OpenAI showcased on their website. So this is the image that they have shared on their website where you can see an avocado sitting on a chair with the perfect text. I just feel so empty inside. And let's see how does it perform with this one. So these are the images that I generated and I'm gonna open this one. And this is surprisingly perfect with the text. You can see, I just feel so empty inside and you can find each and every detail in your image that you have mentioned in your prompt. As you can see, we have an avocado sitting on a chair, spoon, therapist that we have mentioned in our prompt. And you can find each and every detail in the image. So this one is the second image where you can see this spoon as a therapist. And again, we have this perfect text and these are a few other images. So this is the proof that this is actually working on the DALI 3. Now let's try something like an illustration of a woman holding a board with text, I'm alone. And let's see what it comes up with. So these are the output images and one thing that surprised me is that it not only generated the text perfectly but it also maintained the tone of our text and one thing that you can notice in all of the images that the woman is looking sad and upset and this thing shows that DALI 3 is really intelligent in terms of text not only generating the images but also understanding your prompt and one more thing that you will notice in this image is the consistency where you can see this woman is holding a tablet kind of thing. This is the picture of same lady inside of this tablet. And this one is really impressive, really, really impressive. Now let's try to generate some photorealistic images. So I'm going to give it a prompt, close up photograph of a snail on grass, crisp and textured and high details. I'm just using that old school prompting technique where we just add uh, some keywords in the prompt and let's see how does it perform with this one. So these are the output results and uh, these are some really detailed images. And let me open this one by one. Uh, so this is the first image and you can see this is actually crisp and detailed. Just look at the texture, this shell texture even on the skin. And uh, this one is the second image. And look at this one. And just look at the quality, detail, texture, cinematic lighting. Everything is really, really, really good. And as we mentioned in the text that the image should be crisp and textured. And that's exactly what we got. No doubt these are some really, really detailed and good images. Now let's try some human portraits. Because I'm a really big fan of the photorealistic portraits. And uh, let's try something. So I'm gonna type close-up photograph of a woman, dark brown eyes, textured skin, brown hairs, and let's see what it comes up with. So these are the output images, and let me open it. So this is the first image, and you can see we have the skin texture, but we can't say this is a photorealistic image. We have some skin textures, but one thing to admire that this is too much detailed image. So this one is the second image. We have some better results, but we still can't say this is a photorealistic image. So this is the third image. Well, this one is a little better, maybe because of these freckles on the face. And this one is the last image. So yeah, it does struggle with the human faces. But if we look at these snail images, it did a really good job in this case. So the people who are saying that this can compete the mid journey, yes, in few cases, like its text writing ability. And this is something that mid journey cannot do yet. But if we talk about the photorealistic images, it needs a lot of improvements. So that's how you guys can access Dari 3 for completely free. So that's it from this video. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.